There he went. W no, he's right here. www.pondscape.us. Here's one of our crayfish. We drained this end of the pond. Got all got most of the fish out. There's still some in the other end. We're refilling this back now. And um Yeah, got most of the tropicals out. There's still some in here, but mostly the northerns now. And here's crayfish heading back. One of our three crayfish, and there he goes. I don't know how well you could see. This is glaring a little bit. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's, yep, he's, he's going under the plants. And there's, he's, he's going. He's a much happier crayfish right now. Yeah, when we he was in this end when we were draining out, so um we put him in here and we're draining this out into here. Our little waterfall mechanism isn't uh quite complete yet. <laughs> but um next year this is gonna be the upper extension of the pond. We're just tossing more of the fish from this end back into this end. It's slowly filling up. We got a very slow fresh water drip over here and we got our heat coming out from over there. It's about 60 degrees today. So this heater's a godsend. This heater really makes things a lot more manageable and there's no danger to the fish. Yeah, he was a little bitty guy when I got that crayfish from Tony, and he grew up real big, so I think next year I'm going to get a few dozen from Tony and grow them up big and sell them back to him for a buck because he don't carry them that big, probably because the wholesalers are a bunch of jerks and they want too much money for the bigger size. But Yeah, if you got a, like a really huge tank with a lot of big fish and stuff... Uh, Having a couple of crayfish in there are also good to help keeping things clean. They eat up a, a lot of the bottom junk. Right, so that's all for now. www.pondscape.us